social media, television, and music have all over-sexualized our brain to the point that men no longer have control. Being sexually disciplined is a cheat code for winning across life with women with your family, with money, and with motivation. So today, I'm going to walk you through a seven step process to desexualize your brain and become sexually disciplined. Starting with number one, you are the prize, you have to be selective. Being obsessed with women makes you desperate and from an evolutionary standpoint, this is worse than being ugly or lower status. Women are biologically programmed to look for a guy that will ensure her survival, his own survival, and the survival of their children. If this guy is obsessed and needy, over her, you will automatically turn her off. On top of that, you can't even talk to women because your confidence is trashed. So to start your sexual discipline journey, you have to start by quitting pornography. Research shows that those that consume pornography have lower sexual desire and lower sexual satisfaction. Now, the important part with the research is that it also proved that as soon as you stop the pornography, you revert all the negative side effects. Cool, you realize the importance of quitting porn, but you know it's not that simple. There are certain things that lead you to that site that you need to fix first. And tips two through five will show you how to fix those things to become sexually disciplined and the benefits that it will bring your life. Two, it will save you 10 months and make you rich. Chasing women is expensive and exhausting. You are wasting valuable time you should be investing in yourself. There was a recent study that found that it takes you about going through 4,000 dating profiles or about nine months to find that one person. Yet there's also studies suggesting that one in three men aren't having sex. However, on the other side, Pornhub and dating sites are at an all time high. The average time spent on Pornhub a day is 10 minutes. Multiply that a year, it's 3,650 minutes or about 60 hours or two and a half days. So I want you to follow me here. You spend an average of nine months swiping to find a date. That doesn't work because one in three of you aren't having sex. So then you spend 10 minutes a day on Pornhub. What we can deduce here is that men are spending all their time chasing women and are having zero results. What could you have done with that time? As a matter of fact, I'll tell you what you could have done. I want you to find a new hobby, a new passion, a new business to start. And then I want you to apply the 20 hour rule to each of them. The 20 hour rule states that if you focus for 20 hours on a new task, you can become reasonably competent in that task. That's about 45 minutes a day for just one month. So instead of spending 10 months chasing women with zero results, you can spend 10 months developing 10 different skill sets or passions that will make you a more interesting and attractive man and also make you richer. I'll give you a great example. Month one, you can learn a new language. Month two, you can learn to play chess. Three, you can learn to run Facebook ads. Four, you can learn jujitsu. Five, you can start weight training. Six, you can become a volunteer. Seven, you can go hunting. Eight, you can learn how to box. Nine, you can create content. 10, you can build a new business. Do this and I promise you, you will become richer and happier at the end of 10 months than all the time you spend chasing women. And then you will also become more desirable and more attractive. Three, stop going on TikTok to look for pornography. This will increase your motivation. Every time you ejaculate, you drain your masculine energy. When you ejaculate, oxytocin, vasopressin, and prolactin are all released. The last two put your body in a relaxation state, which is why you get tired. Prolactin has been linked to the feeling of sexual satisfaction. So not only do you get tired, you also remove any motivation to actually pursue to become better, to become more attractive, to attract the girl that you actually want, because why would you? You've already released the prolactin. You are sexually satisfied. So I need you to become sexually disciplined and stop going on social media looking for pornography. I know most of you aren't just diving onto Pornhub. Instead, you're going on TikTok, on Reddit, on Instagram looking for porn. What ends up happening? You have too much time on your hands in a day because you're not doing anything. You then become unmotivated because you're sad. Then you go to these sites to look for pornography. You're looking for a girl twerking, something that stimulates you. And once you find it, you go down a rabbit hole after a few minutes that's not enough so where do you end up Pornhub you need to cut the problem at its source you don't realize it but any picture audio or video that sexually stimulates you is considered pornography it's not just seeing two naked people four you get the woman you want when you're sexually disciplined see now as a man you become a man of high standard no longer just caving into whatever woman wants you are now in complete control and now this is when you become desirable because women are used to men doing whatever they want because most men will cave because they are so sexually perverted, they have no dignity. You want to have complete control over your sexual impulses. And if you feel you can't control them, I need you to go to the gym and do a hard exercise. If you find yourself extremely horny all the time to the point that you feel you can't control it, this study found that strenuous, excessive exercise lowers your sex drive. On top of that, doing this, 
strengthens your self-control and builds a better body that increases your confidence. Number five, you won't be poor. When you do not have self-control over your sexual impulses, it will get you pregnant and hinder your chances of success. There is something called the success sequence. It's an effective formula for anyone that lives in a developed country, where if you do these three things, your chances of poverty are almost zero. That is, finish high school, have a full-time job, and don't get pregnant outside of marriage. People that watch pornography are 10 times more likely to get their partner pregnant because they don't have self-control. And remember what I said, it doesn't start at porn, it starts before. So a trick you wanna start doing is changing the music you listen to. As a matter of fact, I would even suggest replace the crap music for audiobooks, for podcasts that build you up. You don't realize it, but there are studies that prove that there's a direct link between music and it controlling your actions, specifically in the area of sex. All right, this all sounds great, right? Being sexually disciplined can make you richer, have more motivation, get the women you want, avoids poverty. But the problem here is that none of that is instant. You have not learned delayed gratification in your life. And while the pros are all good, when you're alone in your room, you're gonna convince yourself to do it anyways because what's the harm? No one's looking, no one's gonna ever find out. And this is why I left these last two points at the end. This will solve your problem of not being able to finally quit. Six, when you're sexually disciplined, you will be trained to learn to love doing hard things. Porn is the hardest vice to break on a scale of difficulty. If you can overcome this, you can overcome anything in your life. Let me put this into perspective for you. When you eat food, dopamine is increased by 150% more than normal. When you consume nicotine, dopamine is increased by 200% more than normal. When you have sex, it is increased by 250% more than normal. When you do cocaine, increased by 340% more than normal. The problem with porn is that it increases your dopamine levels by 250% more than normal, just like sex does. However, unlike sex, it keeps you at that high level of dopamine for a longer time, longer than even cocaine. And this, this is the challenge you should look forward to, the mental one. No one is watching and it's just you versus you. This is when it counts. We understand now that prolonged porn usage leads to lower self-control. So when you're alone in your room and you think, no big deal, that's when you have to build that mental strength and when it actually counts. And that, that's instant. Which takes me to number seven. You will learn to love correctly. Do not let blind men lead you the wrong way that are not successful, that are not married, that don't have a healthy family. You do not need to sleep with a hundred women to fight the right one. As a matter of fact, I would say that would hurt you. There are scientific studies that have proven that the more sexual partners you have, the less likely you are to be happy in a long-term committed relationship. Being disciplined with who you are connecting with allows you to actually enjoy, love, and respect the girl you are with. Then you will have the strength to do that on a long-term relationship. That's it for me today, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I'm gonna leave you two more videos here to level up.